We finally got the trailer for the new Tarsier Studios game, titled Reanimal. And boy, there is a lot to go over in this one. You see, starting about two years ago, Tarsier Studios, the developers of the first two Little Nightmares games, started teasing a new game. But not much was known about it until just a few weeks ago, when they released a teaser trailer showcasing an environment for the game, with the announcement that we'd be getting a full trailer on August 20th. And as of yesterday, that full trailer has now been released. One exciting detail about this game is that it is, like Little Nightmares 3, multiplayer. And throughout this trailer, we can see two new characters, a boy with a bag over his head, and a girl with what looks like a paper bunny mask. From the game's Steam description, we find out that these characters are brother and sister, and that the main goal of the game is to travel through this nightmarish world and rescue their missing friends. And in a couple shots throughout this trailer, we can see the two main characters with the group of kids, like here in this alleyway, and here rowing through a lake in a boat in what looks to be a similar part of the game to this teaser screenshot we were shown a while ago. Or here, where it looks like the girl is floating up into the air with other kids surrounding her. Well, who we presume to be her brother says what sounds like, wake up. There are also a few other locations throughout this trailer that were shown in previous teasers for this game. Like the last shot of the trailer, again showing off these rocky cliffs with the kids in the boat, or the beach below those cliffs. We also get a wide shot of the two floating into a town on a boat, the buildings in said town looking very similar to the one shown in the very first teaser for the game. We also know from the game's description that at least a decent portion of this game will be these sections where the characters are traveling through the map by boat. Next, and probably most interestingly, we gotta discuss the monsters. And there are a lot of very interestingly designed and genuinely terrifying looking monsters in this trailer. Like the game's title would suggest, most of the monsters are based around animals. What seems to be the main monster for the game, judging by the fact that this is clearly the same monster shown in the very first teaser for the game, is this enormous furry creature with numerous limbs that almost looks like a cross between some sort of rodent and a spider, as we can see the spider-like back to the thing in this shot here, as well as this shot of it bursting through a wall with a similar spider-like appearance. Now, I mentioned earlier that I think this creature is part rodent as well, because of its fur and overall body shape. And specifically what I think we're seeing here is a mole, because looking at this trailer, it seems like the main attribute of this thing is its ability to burrow underground. I mean, apart from it bursting through a wall, we see it climbing through a hole in the building, as well as looking like it is climbing out of a hole in the ground in one of the official posters for the game. There's even a shot at the beginning of the trailer of the two siblings staring down a deep cavern into the ground, which could be this monster's burrow. And finally, a shot of the thing thrashing around in an enclosed area partially filled with water, which could be some sort of sewer area judging by the shot of the siblings standing inside some sort of grungy, industrial looking environment with a broken sewer grate at the center that they are emerging from. The second new monster we are introduced to is this sheep thing, which is teased through the trailer with shots of a lamb yelling out in pain as its body twists and contorts, before later on we get a reveal of the thing's face as it stretches out its long neck into one of the wooden shacks where the boy is hunched on a bed. Its appearance very much being in the classic body horror style that the Little Nightmare series is so known for. I mean, there really is something unsettling about this dead-eyed monster sheep stretching its snake-like body through a room looking to attack the player. And the last shot of this creature fully reveals the body of the sheep in the middle of a row of houses, again looking like it's preparing to attack with its very human-like arms and legs, as well as what looks like tons of antlers growing out of the creature at awkward and painful looking angles, some of them looking to be stuck into the buildings surrounding the sheep. Then of course, we also get a glimpse of the pig monster showcased in the last trailer, this time standing on all fours, hunched over a bathtub, in a room filled with broken beds with a massive hole in the wall as the siblings sneak by. And this pig monster, as well as the mole and sheep, do seem to be the main three monsters in the game, as they are the three visible in the official poster for the game. And interestingly enough, not all of the monsters in this game are animals. It seems like we are going to be getting a few of the more classic Little Nightmares styled enemies, 
that are a lot closer to contorted and twisted looking humans. Like this hunched over man in a suit and hat, whose design is very reminiscent of the Little Nightmares characters like the Thin Man or the Butler from Very Little Nightmares, dragging what looks to be the body of a child into a movie theater. This same character can later be seen chasing the siblings through some sort of dining room as he runs along a table and destroys it as he goes. There's also another human character in this shot chasing the siblings on a bike, with an upside down face, emaciated body, and what might be an animal tail. Then in this shot, we can see what is perhaps one of the most disturbing monsters, with the siblings being chased through a row of shelves by what looks like just the living skin of old men slithering on the floor after them, with any bones or organs being completely absent. And finally there's the shot of the two back in the boat, the sister holding a harpoon, likely preparing to attack some unseen threat, while the water around them is carpeted with bloated and disfigured human corpses. The whole game, of course, is very much in the Little Nightmares art style, almost exactly matching the environments and designs, and blending in perfectly with the Little Nightmares world. One interesting difference I will note, though, is that the game has voice acting. At the beginning of the trailer, we hear what is likely the sister character saying, nothing lasts forever, and I thought you were dead, possibly in reference to the missing friends that she and her brother spend the game searching for, or a more sinister possibility, referring to the animals that have now become twisted and mutated, with the girl thinking that they were dead. Because we do know that the animal monsters seen throughout the trailer were normal animals at one point, as the very first shot of the trailer shows a lamb that likely becomes the sheep monster shown later on writhing unnaturally implying that it is either mutated, as the game's title may hint at, reanimal, sounding a lot like reanimate to bring something back to life, which implies that these animals were somehow remade and mutated by some unknown force, or more interestingly, possessed by some sort of supernatural entity that has warped its body in this way. This game overall looks much darker than Little Nightmares 3, with more disturbing themes, monsters, and what looks to be a more mature storyline with easily the most beautiful and haunting graphical style we've ever seen from Tarzan. I will say, the overall concept with the mutated body horror animals reminds me a bit of this other game with a similar scenario, Zucosis. And the overall style of the monsters in this game reminds me a lot of The Forest. And the overall vibes and aesthetics of the game kind of looks like a much older indie horror game back from like 2015, Wick, that was similar in gameplay to Slender Man, but I think does share some vague visual similarities. Whether any of these games were actually an inspiration or not is beside the point, but I just think the overlap in visual style is cool. And this game overall looks really great. Honestly, possibly even better than Little Nightmares 3. Alright, that's all for this video. I gotta go, uh, I gotta go get ready to go to college. I'm gonna drop out immediately. Kinda like, uh, kinda like Kanye. I'm, uh, I'm kinda like Kanye in a lot of ways, actually. Anyway. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and uh, comment to boost all the engagement, and watch time and other stuff I pretend to care about. Uh, and goodbye. I will see you in the next video.